Okay, so now we're ready to start. And first of all, we open Auto Multiple Choice. And here is the general layout of the program. And you can see the buttons Open Project, New Project, the configuration and menu. Okay, so we start with the, with the new project. So I created the test one, but we're going to create another one. So let's say mock one. And it doesn't allow any spaces. So if you put space, it will give you the, the error message. So just stick to underscores and press new project. So now we are going to work with the template. So press forward and from here you can see the different options. So we're choosing English. We're using nominat nominative uh, sheets and click apply. So now everything became live and you can see it here. So first of all, you have a choice between AMC text and LaTeX. So for now, stick to LaTeX. I will show you the Python script that will code the LaTeX for you. And just leave the LaTeX here and edit source file. Okay, now press on edit source file and here you can see um, the file itself and it is coded with uh, LaTeX markup language. So it uses the markers like document class to declare what it is. So it is an article. Uh, use package uh, declares the packages that will be used within this document. And for example, this one copy means uh, the number of copies that will be printed. And for, for, for the purposes of this tutorial, we need only one copy of the document because uh, it will contain uh, all the variants for our students, imaginary students. So from here you can see, for example, the test date, the test duration, explanation. And when we go to, when we go to this marker, it states the group general. It is written by French people, so a lot of these markers, they are written in French. So this general puts the group of all the elements within this group to this place in the document. So every single question will be within these elements of general group. And all the elements with, with general group will go here. Okay, so you start uh, the declaration of your question with this element, general, then you start another marker, begin question, which needs to be finish, finalized with the uh, end uh, question marker. So it's just like, if you remember, for example, in HTML, you have tags. So let's say tag body. It starts with this tag and it should be closed with the opposite tag. And everything within this tag will go to the body of the HTML document. And the same logic is here. So you have this element which uh, is opened with these curly braces and is closed with this one. Then uh, the question marker begins or question tag begins. It is followed by the um, declaration of what question it is. And then goes the ID of this question. So this ID is needed to identify the question um, in your Excel file as an output of the whole test, for example. So you have this uh, begin question tag, and after that you uh, you have your question, and after that you 
have the opening tag of your choices. So every choice will go to the body of the choices tags. So begin and end. If you have a correct choice, it will be declared with the correct choice tag and the correct choice goes between these curly braces. The incorrect ones will go to wrong choice. As you can see uh, in the second question, we have a multiple correct choice uh, question and it is declared with a begin question mult. If you look here, it's just begin question. So this question mult means that you will have more than one correct choice within your choices body. You have correct correct and one wrong. In the next one you have a different choice body. So it is declared not with the choices but choices hor horis, which means horizontal. And everything that goes uh, within this body will be aligned horizontally and you will see it afterwards so it's just uh, to show you how you can align your uh, answers and in the end you have your closing tag for the whole document it's right here begin document and the end document Okay, so we don't change anything here. We press save and close. And after that, we need to update the documents. And it will compile the PDF files for us. And the PDF file will be in this area. You can see the question and documents buttons. So press on the question button and uh, you will see how it's going to look like. Uh, they have Avogadro Amadeo, Bor Nils, Copernic Nicholas, and Einstein Albert. So in total we have one copy for each person and we were declaring it in the previous edit source. And you can see that all the students have randomized answers and questions. So, for example, for Avogadro, we have the first horizontally aligned question. And for, um, for Bohr, we have the last one. And the, question, uh, the answers themselves are also randomized. Uh, what we see here, so we see four dots uh, in, in the corners of our paper and they are needed to align the paper uh, within our scans and when the program actually uh, processes these scans it will understand that these are our markers for the edges of the document. We also have uh, this area here uh, and it states the variant number and the pages. So you give this paper to students, so you need to print them out. Uh, then after that they will uh, fill in these boxes, give these uh, tests to you, you scan them and feed to this program. So from here you could save this document for example go to your desktop and save it as if I remember correctly it was mock1 and these are questions so uh, now you can print them out. Don't print them from here because many printers they uh, have a bad communication with Linux 
and they will they might print something different that you expect them to print so I would suggest that you just uh, copy this file to your USB stick and print it okay so in the documents button if you press on it you will have three sections so it's catalog solution and individual solutions so for your catalog you have uh, the main catalog uh, of questions with the ID of these questions and you will need to send this catalog to your professor this is how they are going to understand the Excel file because these IDs will go to Excel file solutions they just have the solution for every person and they are correct answers if you go to individual solutions well uh, in this case just because uh, the setup of this test was very simple both solution and individual solution are the same but if you take the uh, more complicated ones the they will they will not be the same so I would suggest that you take the catalog file and save it to the same folder as the previous question file and just name it something like catalog so it will go to to the person who who is real, uh, responsible for marking students then we have to detect the layout so first we edit the source file then we update documents and compile the documents then we print the documents and then we detect layouts of these documents and after you press it the program will write the pages into uh, this project and when you see the writing processed for pages or something like that uh, you could go to okay so Actually, it says that, that some defects were detected. And to understand what are these defects, you can go to warnings and read carefully. And now they say that the name, name field is not used and they uh, really warn you that you will need to identify your students afterwards. But for now, it's okay because we know uh, in this test the people who are uh, writing it and in the real ones the Python script will uh, create these name fields for you but for now you can go OK and go to uh, to the next session